Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be discussing some facts about Dodge you might not know. The Dodge brand is a mostly American brand, so if you're, if you're in other continents like Asia or Africa or Australia, you might not be so familiar with this car. But in America, it's a big deal, especially with younger people. And speaking of younger people, studies actually show that Dodge, most of their buyers act younger than... I'm not saying that older people don't buy it. Old, pe old people still do buy it. But studies show that there are more young people that buy the car. And also, Dodge creates many different types of cars. Once they created a minivan, which it, not many people liked it. They've created an SUV. In fact, last year, they created the new Dodge Hornet. It's a mid-sized crossover. They've created a sedan, one of their most popular cars ever, and they created the Challenger. The Charger and the Challenger are, the Charger is a sedan, and the Challenger is a coupe, and they are Dodge's undeniably most popular car. But if I were you, I wouldn't go out there and buy a Dodge, because... They have the most deaths per million vehicles registered. Their cars are on top 20. And that's not a good thing. Now let's begin! The first thing I'm going to talk about on this list is how sadly Dodge Chargers child challengers and some other muscle cars like the camaro and the mustang are now banned forever from cars and coffee if you don't know what cars and coffee is it's like a car meet that's mostly held in the morning sometimes in the late after in the evening and maybe even the late afternoon but dodge chargers used to be the pride and dodge challengers they also used to be the pride of car shows but there's still other cars like the corvette which is voila i think chevrolet did good on that car but that's a talk for another day but now they're permanently banned most car meets had those cars so not many people are so happy about that but if you don't know what i'm talking about it's just a general cars and coffee thing and the second thing i'm going to be talking about is how Dodge is making last call models of their Chargers and Challengers. One of the reasons Dodge Chargers and Challengers are banned from cars and coffee is because, well, they're making their their Charger and Challenger into one car, just a Charger. And it's an EV. It, it makes sounds at least, but it doesn't sound as realistic as the real version. But I have to give Dodge for at least trying. They did pretty good, in fact, compared to some other tries of that in the past. But as a dedication to their last gas, Dodge Chargers and Challengers, they're making last call models. And so the last call models are just a dedication, and it was, it's going to be their last gas chargers and challengers ever but they have special names they cannot be customized in any in like colors wheels that's not customizable but other things in two of and two of the dog chargers i'm going to be talking about are optional but let's get to what some of these dodge last call models are called one of them is the super b it's in purple its wheels are black, the King Daytona, a wide body that's in orange, its wheels are also black. Let me just say, just about every one on here is black. The swinger of both the Dodge Charger and the Challenger, it's green and it's in black. The Black Ghost, which I'm going to be talking about more, is one of the customizable things about it is that most car roofs are just normal metal. If you've got, if you've seen on top of the car, it's just normal metal. But on this car, above the metal, 
as a dedication to one of their older cars, they put actual alligator skin. And they have their Demon 170. I'm telling you, that thing is wild. It pops wheelies. You can get a parachute with it. Dang, it's wild. It comes in gray at with black we with black drag wheels and it's the quickest car in production but if you don't understand what the difference between if a car is quick or if a car is fast it's not the fastest car in production it's close i guess but not the fastest what it means is just that a dodge challenger demon 170 is quick like, get off the line. I'm quick. I hit 0 to 60 in 1.6 seconds. That's quick in car term just means how fast do you reach this certain amount of time. It doesn't have to be 60 miles per hour. It doesn't have to be 100. It can be any number. But most people do 60 or 100. And it's really cool how it managed to be the quickest car in production. And I think Dodge did a good job with that. The fourth car on this list is how wide the new Dodge Charger is going to be. The Dodge Charger EV, as it's been shown, it's wider than a normal wide body. So what that means is just like, it. let's say you get a normal Dodge Charger, but instead you put a wide body kit on it, which is just like when you add those things to the wheels to make it look cooler and then you place that next to a normal Dodge Charger EV the Dodge Charger EV is wide wider than the wide body but I have to give Dodge some credit for at least making it look decent it's not gonna be a chart it's not gonna be the original Chargers but at least it looks good I've got to talk about Dodge's cars the other ones, like their Durango and their Hornet, and how they could have made a lot more money with Ram, but they decided to split up with Ram, and how they could have earned a lot of money, but in a way, they're somehow still connected to Ram, and they're connected to Chrysler. If you've heard of Chrysler, if you haven't heard of Chrysler or Ram before, they're also American brands. They're a big deal over here. On every street you turn, you have to see at least one American car. High chances it's going to be a Ford. If you don't know what a Ford is, it's a video for another day. But now let's get to talking about the Durango. For some reason, they decided to keep the Durango a gas car. And I'm, and I'm not mad. I want them to keep it like that. Losing more gas cars would be, an, would be an even worse. It's got the same statistics as a Dodge Charger or a Dodge Challenger, but only it's a bit slower because it's an SUV. But they have a Hornet as well. It's not one of their most powerful cars. They don't even have an SRT Hawk out of it yet. They don't have an SRT version yet. I think all they have is an RT version of race and track. But the SRT means street race. No, not street race, like actually street racing. But street, comma, race, and track. So like a more upgraded version of the RT. And then you have the SRT Hellcat, which the Hellcat is like more powerful. And for... The Challenger, it's just, instead of Hellcat, it's Demon. They, st they still do have the Hellcat version, but it's mostly called Demon. They're, but the Dodge Durango is a good car. The Hornet, nope. It's a mid car. But then you're talking about the Caravan, the Journey. Nope. If I were to put if I were to put these on a scale, Dodge Charger is ranking S tier, Challenger, S tier, Durango, A tier, the Dodge Journey, 
F tier, Dodge Caravan F tier. The S, A, B, C, D, F tiers are just like how good it is. No, the S tier is great, the A tier is good, B tier is just above average, C tier is okay, not too bad, not too good. The D tier is bad, and then F tier trash. But then we ought to talk about Hennessy. Well, not the actual drink on Hennessy, but the car company Hennessy. They they're like a company that makes cars, but upgraded. Like the Ram one thousand five hundred TRX, very powerful car, but it's a truck. Hennessy made it even more powerful. It went from having like 800 horsepower to a thousand. Dodge Charger, a thousand. Like their standard must be, make every single car they can make a thousand horsepower. Cause so far they've done practically that. They have the fastest car in the world, the fastest street legal car in the world. They also have two cars that rank in top 10. And she does a good job of remaking cars more powerful than they actually should be. But if I'm going to talk about all this, I have to tell you what Dodge started from. It started as a small company called the Dodge Brothers in July of 1914. The Dodge Brothers actually helped create the most popular car of their, ta of their time. In fact, they shared an engine with the most popular and affordable car of their time. The Ford Model T. The Ford Model T needs no explaining. It was the most, it was the most produced, most sold, most affordable. People loved it back then. And then we moved on with cars, and then we started getting more hatchbacks and more of our normal cars these days. But Dodge was not done. Actually, they made a car in the olden days. If you've seen the Cars movie, there's a blue car. It's an act. It's actually a Dodge, but it was actually banned for being so fast, for being too fast. So back then, it was banned for being too fast in NASCAR. They just banned it. They didn't say maybe detune your engine or anything. They banned it. They banned it. And that brings us to the conclusion. This one is just a mini topic, but we need to discuss the bananas and the pink bananas. If you don't know what I'm talking about, on some versions, or you could just customize it to be like it, but of the Dodge Charger and Challenger, they have these yellow things or pink things, if you buy a more performance version, that people don't like very much. Because, one, they get scraped off easily. So easily. They're infamous for getting scraped off. Two, they ruin the car's look, sort of. The bananas just don't look good on it. Three, why are they even there? Yeah, Dodge, if you're watching, can you please not put the bananas on the new Dodge Charger EV? Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and don't forget to smash that notification bell to know when I upload new videos. If you liked any of these facts and you and you learned something new in this video, don't forget to put that in the comments below. See you next time. Bye!